Oh. You got yours loaded? I'm locked and loaded. Good thing I brought an extra one. Let's go ahead, Steven. Get it's your there for never. <laughs> Alright, Steven, check it out. Guess what I'm gonna make next? A Nerf blaster. Well, this what kind loaded. of Nerf blaster? A hydrogen powered Nerf blaster. That's a good suggestion. Um, oh, did you just did you reload it? Try it. Uh, you're not that tactic. Ow! You hit me. Okay, give me those. I gotta get to work. Yeah, ain't no work. Down here, Sam, take this camera. Check this out. Uh, it, it, I actually didn't finish this yet. I have to put this cover on. Well, I'll, I'll do that in a second. But let's, I want to try testing this out first. So basically, I haven't really explained anything at all. We got the bubbler chamber here, which is similar to the one I made before. It basically consists of um, stainless steel plates and water mixed with some electrolytical compound. That's really dangerous and bad for your skin, so don't get that on you. 10 out of 10, do not try to make this at home. It's incredibly dangerous. I'm actually really scared of this because hydrogen has a, a very, very fast combustion rate. A lot, the expansion rate is much higher than gasoline or propane. So a small quantity of it will go bang very, very loud in a very, very quick amount of time. So I'm kind of scared to fire this as well. Uh, let's try juicing it up first. Oh no, there's too much water inside the thing. It didn't go bang. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get a face shield. Hang on, I don't trust this. All right, um, I didn't really find my face shield, but I did find this helmet. Just uh, put this on. This is really dumb. I mean, this is probably a little excessively overkill, but whatever. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Testing. Hey. <laughs> I mean, it went pop. It didn't come all the way out. So I need to charge it more. I'm just being a little bit on the cautious side right now. So let's just put that back in there. Let's charge it up some more. That's a little bit better. Um, maybe I actually do need a lot of hydrogen. I don't know. 
I don't think I need that much gas, but whatever. More than murder. Oh, that was awesome! It totally worked! Uh, that's so cool! It's hydrogen powered. Okay, um... You know what? Let me put the rest of the screws on and stuff, and let's have some fun with this. I want to see how, how fast it can actually shoot and how dangerous it actually is. Yeah. You want to play with it, don't you? It's pretty cool. Yeah, I just don't want to go out with a bang. Good. Alright, the last piece is on. The charging handle. So when you pull this back, it rotates the cylinder and it also gasses up. When you're ready to fire, close it. Ooh, I didn't realize there was a dart in there. Gun safety first, check if it's loaded. Too bad it's a Nerf toy. <laughs> well, let's see, so, I should have to rotate the cylinder. I can just pull this back. It should rotate, but it gets, it gets hung up sometimes. Probably because I, you know, I modified it. We gas it up. I think you need a minimum of five seconds. Then you're done. <laughs> That's violent. You know, I think these are actually destroying these nerf darts. We'll probably talk more on that later, but let's uh... My helicopter. Uh, I got your helicopter. Uh, uh, actually, see if you can take off. There's somewhere around there. Hang on, let's find it. Oh, hey, it's totally fine. Um, this is pretty durable. Man, if I broke it, I would bought you a new one, just to let you know that. All right, on to the next challenge. I made this. What's this? Here, shoot it. Hey, that was cool. Fireworks! Okay, um... I need a smaller battery. You know, I think we need a little better target thing for that, because we should make this an accuracy challenge. Oh, that'd be fun. Okay. Perfect, just in time for the holidays. Okay, Sam, load it up. Okay. That's a pretty big, big thing for YouTube to hit right there, so, um... You... Well, we'll walk closer if we can't hit it. Whoa, look how cool those bubbles are. This thing is actually really fun to fire. What happens if it blows up the dirt? Does it count? Well, as long as you hit the thing, so go. Oh, it didn't. Yeah, that counts. Wait, no, it doesn't. I'm gonna charge it up some more. I think I only charged it up five seconds. I need probably 15. Or maybe 10. 10. Has it been 10 seconds? I'm yeah. not counting. That wasn't enough. That's 10 seconds. Go. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> I think you blew up the dart. You overcharged ah. that time. <laughs> yeah, see, you never know if it's going to be powerful or weak. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, oh. got it. Let's wrap this thing up. This is pretty cool. I don't really know what else we can do with this. Oh, we need Corona graphics. So let's do that. Five, four, three, two, one. Shoot. Go for it, Sam. Okay, stock Nerf gun, 101, 62, 64. So, probably averaging around, what's the average of that, Sam? Maybe about 80, something 70. around? 70, 80, okay, whatever. Uh, well, let's try this one. Let's see what this does. I think this is going to be a lot worse. We'll try various charge levels first, so. 10 second charge and then we'll shoot it. Right, we'll see what happens. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa. And no. It won't shock any shock. The taser module's busted. Crap. Did you kill that lipo too? Oh crap. I take this thing entirely apart to change the bat. Ah. 
Oh, would you look at that? The switch is just messed up. That's it. Oh. So that's easy fix. Yep, just switch it out with a new one. Oh, very funny. Okay. Whoa. Good. Put a hole in the backstop. Whoa. Here's my dart. Uh. All right. I think that pretty much concludes this project. Um, I guess we'll talk about it now. So it is hydrogen powered. I mean, there's no real lie there. Basically, we have the bubbler here. I think I kind of explained it already. But let's talk about its shortcomings. So let's see. Um, it actually kills batteries surprisingly really fast. Like this is a 2250 uh, Lumineer lithium polymer battery, and it pretty much killed this battery after maybe 30 shots at you know maybe around 10 seconds each. And basically, this thing is very hungry, and also it gets very warm fast, so you can't even shoot it very often. Because I don't want to run run the risk of um, busting this. Because if you bust this and get it all over the place. If you got on your hands, it's going to burn for one thing. If you get in your eye, you'll probably be blind. So I would not recommend playing with this stuff unless you know what you're doing or you wear the proper attire, which I'm not wearing right now. Uh, let's see. It's not very accurate because there is not much of a barrel here. I do think in the future we'll be building another one of these, but it'll be a, a cannon this time. So it'll be completely standalone, no nerf, nothing. Just a big hydrogen-powered cannon. That'll be sweet. So yeah, it's not accurate. FPS-wise, well, I think that has to do with rather than having no barrel. It only got to maybe... What was the fastest you think it shot, Sam? Uh, around 120. 120? Okay, I think that's what we shot something through there. But yeah, 100, 120 for the FPS, so that's not even very fast. It's just more of a proof of concept, kind of fun toy. So we did modify this Nerf gun to shoot off a of hydrogen. So, I don't know. Uh, I think that's it for this video. Let us know in the comments what else you want to see. Hydrogen powered. I want to make some more hydrogen powered thingies. This stuff is kind of scary and really powerful. But, um, I think that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to PewDiePie. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to PewDiePie. We need to beat tier series. I'm going to buy his chair and we're going to make that fly in another video. Okay, I think we're done now.